try and get this in the right position. Hello lovely people and welcome back to my channel. Um, I apologise for my slightly windswept looking hair. I have just got back from Ripstayed Zoo with my lovely friend Charlotte and her family. The vlog for that is coming soon, I promise. Although this might go up before that, that might go up before this. I don't know. My channel's becoming a bit of a mess in terms of organisation at the moment, but we live and we get through it. Um, today I am here with a shopping haul for you. Last week I went to our local Into shopping centre Lakeside and I may have and some um, when I say damage, I mean damage. <laughs> um, I've got loads of stuff. I figure I can just show you with stuff as it comes. No rhyme nor reason. Just I figured I'd share with you all what I got from my shopping trip. So. Let's get into so I'm going to start off with like the smaller shops and then get on to Primark. So we'll build up to the big one. Um, so I'm going to start with Boo Avenue. You can actually Boo Avenue. I won't go into detail. I just bought myself some underwear. I love their, um, they do like three for 12, which I know is probably expensive for underwear for lots of people, but it's really lovely quality and it's like my fancy day underwear um so i just topped up on that um, and then also in my boot avenue bag is some bits i got from boots um i needed to restock on my concealer because for those of you who don't know i just use concealer as my foundation i don't like using actual foundation i find it a bit too much for my skin so this concealer does wonders for me and it stays on all day like this i put on at seven o'clock this morning so let's um zoom in a bit and it's looking pretty good still uh the lipstick is the one thing i have topped up since coming home um yeah and that is literally just ooh, wobbly wobbly uh that is literally just this it is the rimmel lasting radiance this used to be their wake me up line but it's now lasting radiance and it's full coverage concealer and eye illuminator and i have the shade ivory um i do use the next day shade up as well soft beige for like my um like contour line not that i know how to contour um, but I use that for there sometimes and also I use that one to cover blemishes because this one just doesn't do blemishes much justice but this I use for my full face I got three of these in there three for two um one of them is already in my makeup bag for everyday use and I used that one this morning um so there's those and also in there three for two I picked up a new face powder again I just used the Rimmel lasting whatever powder um and then in the 3 for 2 I also topped up their Exaggerate Eyeliner. I haven't got winged liner on today, but when I do have winged liner, it's always this one. Um, it's like, I mean, you take the whole lid, like this section of the lid off, and you can really use it to... So it's like using felt tip, but with actual, like, liquid liner in. So I like this one a lot. And then because it was 3 for 2, I picked up their Highlighting Contour Illuminator Kit. Mainly because I need a new blusher, because I don't ever wear blusher and i want to try wearing blusher for a bit see if it does me any good um and i've been eyeing up this kit like little contour kit for ages i think it just looks really cute so i'm actually gonna have a look and see what the shades are like so it is just number one highlighter illuminator number two contour sculptor and number three blush colorer so it's just those three shades so the highlighter is this sort of shade if that focuses contour it's actually quite a nice light contour so that might be good for my skin and then the blush it's like a little powdery pink so i mean yeah 
I mean, you can't really see a difference with that small amount, but you might. Oh, actually, I can. Either way, I got a blusher. <laughs> we'll test it properly in a makeup run eventually. But yeah, got that in my three for two. So those are those bits. I also went into shoe if you can read that backwards you probably can't um, and I picked up a new pair of trainers for work um, let me get rid of the rusty bags um, I swear by sketches for work so I got myself just another pair of their sketches plain black uh, I think they're their yeah air cooled memory foam range um, in my standard size uh, I hate these things, they never actually hold the shoe. There you go, that's better. Um, yeah, and they're just like really bendy and they're stretchy here. Um, trainers, highly recommend these if, if you're going to a Disney park actually because they're really like they're really cool on your feet, your feet don't get really hot. Um, and they're only £59. Um, highly recommend. Uh, because they're just, as I say, quite cheap for a trainer and really, really comfy. Uh, the only thing I will say is they don't have any support in like your arch. So if you need arch support, these aren't for you. But if you need cool feet for a day in the Disney parks, air cool memory foam. It's the way to go. I also have a pair of their... Um, oops. Oops. I also have a pair of their memory foam sandals. I just love sketches. They're so comfy. And yes, they're like 50 odd quid each, but they last and they're comfy and they're cool. Highly recommend. And then the last shop before I went into Primark is Lush. Um, hoping these haven't been beaten up too much uh, because I haven't been in this bag since I went on Monday. It's now Sunday. Um, Either way, it'll still smell good, even if it's just powdered. No, this still holds that good. Um, I can't remember what these ones are called, um, and they didn't put the labels on, but I got this bath bomb. Isn't it beautiful? And it's all like glitter as well. Oh, it smells like... Like floral and citrus mixed together, I would say. Um, but overall, just really fresh. And then the other one I got, I wasn't planning on getting this one. Um, but I picked it up and it just smelled divine. Um, so I had to get it and that is this one. It looks like a little bunch of grapes. And it does smell quite grape-like, I would say. Yeah, it's definitely a fruity. fruity. It smells like the comforter, if you use the comforter bubble bath sort of smells like a bath bomb version of that which is probably why I picked it up because I love the comfort of shower gel and that's all I got in Lush was those two those two so now now we are into um, the, the big ones right let's just do one bag and then the next bag so Let's start with the bottom bag because it's easier to reach into. So, starting in here, I got myself some new leggings. I love their Primark leggings. And if you've been following along on my Instagram, I have been following a new um, exercise plan. I've been following Beach Body On Demand. Um, I've got two pairs of those and my old leggings are too small for, uh, too big for me now uh, they literally like fall down my legs so i went and got the smaller size uh, which we love we love to see it um so i did that um yeah just standard leggings nothing exciting and then what else have i got in this one is it just that or is it yeah, just that other than the big one um also got myself a fitted sheet again for those of you who are following me on instagram or if you talk to me personally we're in the process of attempting to move house we're attempting to move locations we're attempting to move from essex to norfolk as well um i say attempting house hunting always comes with complications i am told 
Um, but yeah, it's my parents that are moving, so I'm moving with them because I still live at home. But I'm about to start a course in my hometown, which I applied for before we knew about the move. So I will be moving in with my nan. Um, because I'm moving in with my nan, I need to get some bedding for my new bedroom because she's got, she's still got a double bed, but she's only got a king size duvet cover for me. So I need to buy a king size duvet cover. But I also just bought myself a double fitted sheet. Um, it's just like a little lilac colour. I figured that would match most of the beddings that I would buy. So I got that. The bedding set I chose to go with it is in the bag. Um, I also got um, just two plain pink um, pillowcases. You can't go wrong with just plain colours, can you? And then the king size duvet that I got is this sort of purple paisley print in king size. I can't believe that king size duvet is only £13 in Primark. So good. Um, I was tempted to buy their Disney ones, but it was like 20 quid. Probably. This one's 13 It's fine. Um, yeah, I actually quite like the vibes that this gives off, like the purpley sort of indian -y feel to it. I mean, it's like a big tapestry. I'm just going to try and slide this down a bit. I don't want to open it yet because, you know, I'm not moving yet. But if I can... You know what? I'm just going to show you the picture. That's what it looks like. This paisy bedding and then the ends, like this is the other side as well. And it comes with pillowcases, so got that. Oh, move that over. Um then sticking with the bedding theme this is actually what I went into Primark for and um it's this delightful Mickey Mouse sort of velour feel cushion this was only seven pounds seven pounds let that sink in let me just the rustling is bothering me I'm sorry let me just there we go um yeah seven pounds for this cushion I as you can see have a lot of cushions on my bed I've had these two since I had my day bed before this so I figured it's time to move on from these two so I might keep the purple one and have that my nan's because I feel like that would match the um the duvet set quite well and, you know, you've got to have at least a throw cushion on your bed, haven't you? Um, yeah, and I thought this one could um, upgrade and sit in there quite nicely, look. I think that works. Lovely, it can stay there. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got that. And then what I would probably say the one unnecessary pa purchase in Primark, because I didn't go in for this, Um and everything else that I bought was things like bedding and leggings, which are like a necessity, like an everyday needed product. Um, I bought the matching blanket. <laughs> so it's like a set. Ah. Uh, as I said, the cushion was £7. The throw was 14 But it's a really thick, like... And it's like double sided, it's not like silky on the inside, it's like both sides. And I just, I like blankets. So I bought it. <laughs> Who am I when the Primark gods say buy the matching duvet set? You buy the matching throw. Like, it's just Primark, isn't it? You have to. Like, it's my first time back in Primark in months. It was time. It was time for me to buy a new duvet. Not a duvet. Although I did buy a new duvet. Um, a new throw. Because uh, all I have is my Tinkerbell one. Though people, if you follow my TikToks on my, my TikToks. <laughs> oh my god, I can't talk today. If you follow my TikTok and you've seen a few of my reels, you can see my Tinkerbell blanket in them. Um, moving on. <laughs> um, the next item that I picked up was still in the homeware section. It was this Minnie Mouse chilli bottle. I just think this is really pretty. It's just mini on both sides. This was the bargain price of £7. Um, my water bottle, I've got a Mickey one. It's just getting all scratched up. And I figured getting a new Minnie Mouse one um, was just the way to go. And it's supposedly um, 
stays hot or stays cold, stays hot for 12 hours and stays cold for 24 hours. So, and it's a 500 ml bottle. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, I just figured it's time to replace my old bottle. The lid on that one's breaking. It's getting all scratched. It was, um, it was time. I like to stick with the Disney themes. Um, yeah, and because this one's like, make it pink, make it blue. I was living for it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got that. Okay, the last homeware item I got was this little Mickey Mouse notebook. I'll let you have a look at it closer it just says love the earth and it has mickey on it with the world um i just thought it was a really cute little notebook it was only two pounds it's just lined paper but as i say i'm about to start a new course in september so i figured this would make a perfect little like notebook to go in my bag for like any little notes and stuff that i need to take any information any course updates things like that um i just figured it would be good for um Plus, who can resist Disney stationery, especially, um, what's the word I was going to say? Not reusable, but, like, basically, like, earth forward. <laughs> As I said, I'm so tired. My brain is not thinking. Um, like, renewable? the crickets in my head right now um basically it's like environmentally friendly <laughs> let's just stick with that um but yeah the primark's got this whole like earth collection out at the moment and it's actually really cute i'm kind of here for it um love the earth protect the earth go renewable Woo. um but yeah they're doing that and there's loads of mickey stuff which is like save the world stuff which is really cute they had like caps and bags and t-shirts and notebooks and pens and pencils and pencil cases and pajamas and stuff it was really cute then moving on i also picked up some more just basic underwear from primark i said i got myself my good underwear from Bourbonnew. now i've got myself my GP underwear from primark because it's like a pound for four pairs so you know bulk buy <laughs> uh, and then last three items and then this haul is done is i got myself some little plain trainer socks i say plain they're all got like different patterns on so those ones are spotty those ones are plain these ones are stripy if you can see these ones are spotty these ones are stripy these ones are stripy and these ones are spotty but they've got like little like it's like little rib spots on them which is really cute um i normally only ever buy disney socks but i bought some plain ones this time because i figure when i'm in my course i have to be in like like semi-formal clothing um and i figured having mickey mouse socks peering out the bottom of your trousers probably doesn't class as semi-formal um so i got these just as a on days when I don't want Mickey Mouse socks poking out from me under my trousers or under my shoes. So, <laughs> safe options. And then for the days when I don't feel like having um, Disney sh sh shoes, I got myself um, some Lion King socks. So I've got Simba. We've got these ones, which are so big with Simba on. And then these ones, which are just sort of like the Hakuna Matata socks. Um, I love anything Lion King. She said wearing a Mufasa t-shirt today. Um, yeah, I love anything Lion King. So these were straight in mine. And um, same with Stitch. I adore Stitch. Um, and I've got ones with him with an ice cream. Ones with his face just all over them. And then ones with him and Angel holding a love heart. Look at them, so cute. Um, yeah. I mean, these are £2.50 and these ones were also like, you get, so you get three in these for two fifty, and you get seven of the plain ones for £2.50. So, you know, I've got 13 pairs of socks for £7.50. That's not bad, is it? But yeah, so 
that's everything in my little shop i did also pick up some pajamas for my friend charlotte which i was supposed to give to her today but i completely forgot to because i'm a donut <laughs> and my brain's just not with it today i've had a really long work week so i think my brain's just frazzled and tired um so i think when this is finished i'm probably gonna go and put myself to the bath or maybe just go straight to bed who knows um yeah, that's my little Primark haul. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you've been to Primark recently, let me know in the comment section down below what you've bought. Um, I love hearing about people's visits to Primark at the moment. Let me know if the Primark near you has these Mickey Mouse wooden plates as well. I will insert a picture if I can work out how to do it. Um, because I want some. I want one of those. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I want it and the Primark near me doesn't seem to have it. I'm going to go to another Primark next, not tomorrow because tomorrow's Monday, but the Monday after the third, the bank holiday Monday, because I'm having a eye test that day. So I figured I'm near to the Primark when I go to Spexavers. It would be rude not to pop in. Um, so I'm going to go to the Primark there and see if that Primark has them. Um, but yeah, I've had a lovely day at the zoo. As I said, I've got a vlog for that. If that's live, go check that out on my channel. If not, it will be coming very, very soon. Thank you very, very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.